How's it going, everybody, and welcome to a new episode of Dead Lake Sanctuary. It's been like three years, I believe, two or three years since I've uploaded a video at all. Uh, the main reason for that was because uh, it got too expensive for the upkeep of the channel. Uh, since I wasn't getting paid by YouTube, I wasn't monetized, I wasn't getting that money back that I was putting in. So I stopped for a while. I think the last video I have, I just re redid my entire page. So you might see a new uh, banner. Uh, I deleted a lot of the older, cringier videos that were like mostly just me talking. Here I am talking. But um, yeah, a lot of stuff has been uh, happening over the past few years, which is the main reason why I stopped. Uh, the place that I was filming at was uh, my mom's old house, and then a bunch of stuff happened with that that we had to move out. I uh, wasn't able to do the Dead Lake Sanctuary thing, which I'm sure you guys have seen if you've been a long-time subscriber. Uh, if not, then my plan was to create an entire Dead Lake Sanctuary base for this channel, pretty much, in a wooded area that my mom had owned. Uh, eventually, I end up getting my own place. As you guys seen, I think I recorded a few videos. <laughs> of me talking at the place I was at, and now I'm in a new place again. Uh, I mainly had to stop making the weapons and stuff like that that I was making because since I'm in an apartment complex, I can't really build anything without getting complaints from the neighbors because I have to use power tools. I have to use an angle grinder, I have to use a sawzall, I have to use all this stuff to make what I want to make, and I haven't been able to do that. And I've been holding off on this channel for a while because I've had like 15 other projects going on um, that were easier to do at home than this was because I can't really just like go outside in the backyard with a massive bat shetty and just cut fruit because people frown upon that. <laughs> so there's that and uh, the fact that there's just a bunch of stuff. My finances were you know low for me getting the material like I said. Uh, I couldn't build anything. We were moving around. A bunch of stuff was happening with uh, my personal life. When it comes to family, uh, my, my friends I used to have, the people I used to know. And I pretty much gotten rid of all that besides family. I still talk to my family every once in a blue moon. But um, yeah, I mean I've pretty much just been doing my own thing. Uh, I got engaged recently to Amber. Hi. <laughs> so she she's going to be uh, holding the camera in, uh, geez, in a lot of the videos. And I also got uh, uh, two new cats since then. Uh, my old cat Shady, he passed away. I'm sure you guys have seen him in a few of my older videos. He passed away not too long ago. So I was dealing with that as well. Uh, but I have two new cats now. One name is Voodoo and one name is Gypsy. I'm not sure if I involved them in the other videos or the or Voodoo at least in the other videos. I don't think I did because I stopped doing all of it because like I said it was too expensive. And I got rid of the Nerf videos that I was doing just because I was working on Nerf guns but it got boring and it got expensive. So I really didn't want to work on them anymore. I still have like at least... 80 nerf guns 80 probably 100 plus nerf guns in my storage unit that i've just collected and a lot of some of them are duplicates the ones that i was going to work on are duplicates but some of them aren't some of them are like uh rare ones that you could rarely ever find it's pretty much a collection and on top of me stopping doing that um i also stopped doing larp because i didn't have anyone to do larp with if you guys didn't know i was doing that i had a whole channel that stopped a while ago because everyone either moved away or they just didn't want to do it anymore so that also stopped um what else uh then uh, me uh us saving up to move into this place that we're at now which is a two bedroom so i have a content room and she has a content room because she does her own thing so we have that extra room for that uh we also have more space for the cats which is always good and uh, I'm still in the same development, just, you know, in a bigger building. Uh, but uh, so I decided to bring back the channel because I've been getting inspired here and there. It's, it's kind of good being a psychopath, honestly, because you get inspiration for building weapons when certain occasions occur. Like recently, uh, there was a, we started up a garden and I'm very protective of that garden, <laughs> like super protective of the garden. And uh, there's this group of group of pothead kids that were sitting there just you know smoking in the parking lot and it, marijuana is legal now but you're not supposed to smoke it outside in public uh that's still illegal in jersey 
Uh, at least I think anyway. That's what I that's what I read. Uh, if not, either way, they're being rowdy and they were sitting there, you know, fake wrestling and stuff like that, messing with each other. And I just didn't want them to go over to the garden and mess anything up. So when me and her were going for a walk, went over to the garden, checked it out, and then my mind started to race into like a the mental capacity of like a, a psycho from Borderlands. And I was like, hey, I need a weapon just in case I need to teach some dumbass kids a lesson <laughs> because I don't use my hands I don't like to get my hands dirty I like to use things that hurt more than fists so uh, yeah so that's always good <laughs> but uh, yeah so I mean I've I've decided to start this channel back up again and starting with lower quality weapons and building my way up if I do happen to get monetized uh, that'd be really good uh, if not, it's once again, it's just going to be a hobby I do on the side because I have my Anarchy props that I've been doing, which is a side business that I was trying to do with uh, making props from like video games. I still do it here and there, but uh, I don't really do it as much. I had that, and then I had a small business that I was trying to start up when it comes to selling uh, thrifted things. Uh, I stopped doing that, and then I started getting into other things. She's got her own business that she's doing that I'm involved in. Uh, we're trying to get as much money from as many different things as we can. Uh, and YouTube is not going to pay the bills per se, but uh, so far the business and everything has been pretty good. We've sold a few things. Uh, we found out what people were interested in. We started. Uh, we added a new thing to it. But so so far the business is working. So I'll be more or less focused on that more than I will YouTube and stuff like that. Obviously, because like I said, I'm not getting paid by YouTube. But uh, yeah. So the thing I'm going to be doing from this point on is pretty much. Um, it's still going to be DIY weapons. I might do some weapon reviews here and there. However, it's going to be difficult for me to do the weapon reviews because I don't have a spot to test these weapons. I can't just go to a park and chop down a tree with like a machete or a bush or something like that. Um, so it's going to be difficult in that aspect. Uh, but I can make smaller things right now, like stuff that you can literally just put together at your house. Like I recently made the, the weapons that I was talking about with me being a psychopath with those kids. So I built two of those. Uh, I have another uh, weapon that I had built when we were having a Clue Halloween party. It was the iron pipe. I have that that I can always put in a video if I really needed to or if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, so it's just going to be a lot more easier stuff. A lot of sticks and stones. I'm calling it my primitive series. Uh, I was going to start this a while ago, but I just never had a chance to because... I don't live in the woods anymore so <laughs> but um i live in a suburban area to where i have to go to the woods that are within a suburban area and collect my stuff and then take it here and build it but a lot of stuff that has fallen over is mostly older decaying stuff and i don't want to just cut down a tree but i might have to not a big tree like you know a, like a spear sized tree and uh, do some things that I want to do. But yeah, so it's, it's going to be a lot more simpler stuff. I have my prim primitive series that I'm starting. I have my mini weapon series that I'm starting. Uh, I have a bunch of ideas for both of those. She's given me some ideas for a lot of the stuff. So she's helping me out on the channel as well. Uh, hopefully, I can keep this going uh, for as long as it takes for me to get bored with it again, I guess. But uh, I'm not really going anywhere, even though it feels like I fell off the planet. Um... I'm still here. I haven't moved. Well, I mean, I have moved, but I haven't moved, moved. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, um, but yeah. So, from this point on, it's going to be a lot of smaller videos. Uh, since we have the garden, a lot of the fruits and vegetables that I'm going to be testing on are going to be put into a compost pile, so they're still going to get used. We're not just tossing them in the trash. Some of it we may, we may even eat, depending on the weapon that I'm using. Um... But yeah, so I have uh, a video that I'm going to be doing today along with this one right here that I'm going to be putting up uh, eventually. Um, this one will be the first one just to catch you guys up on what's been going on. Pretty much just a lot of personal stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up. I have a new stand for my things, so I decided to just suck it up and um, do it anyway outside. Uh, if I happen to get complained on, then I'll just stop again, and then you guys probably won't see me for another two, three years or something like that. But I have this little, uh, this old screwdriver here that I just uh, electrical taped in this broom handle, and then I put a stake at the bottom so I can stick it into the ground and use it. So I'm going to be using that to put a lot of the fruits and vegetables on to test. And uh, yeah, so I will see you guys uh, whenever I upload another video. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on in my life. So, uh, yeah, I'm back. Uh, welcome back to the old viewers, and I will see you whenever I upload another video. Catch you later.